Welcome to Home Farm. Today's video is an update on our solar PV system and we'll be showing you how it's performed during the autumn months. We installed the array in March, which means that our solar PV system has been running throughout the spring and the summer and the solar production has been absolutely fantastic. As we progressed into the autumn, we have seen a gradual decrease with regards to the amount of electricity that we've been able to produce. One of the first things that contributed to us producing less electricity was fog. We would wake up on a lot of mornings where there'd be quite a dense fog around. As a result, we weren't producing an awful lot of electricity. That fog would gradually burn off during the course of the morning, but you would still lose a couple of hours of potential solar production during that time. During the course of October, the fog persisted, uh, and we also had an increase in rainfall, which meant that we had a lot of cloud cover and a lot of grey skies. November was by far our worst month. We had a lot of rain, the skies were permanently grey, we had one or two days of blue sky, and we even had our first snowfall. I did take the opportunity during the course of autumn to capture some of the different weather conditions, which we'll have a quick look at now. So the autumn weather has kicked in. It is pretty dark and very drizzly. It's presently just after 9 o'clock in the morning and we're producing 400 watts of power. So this is probably going to be an indicator of what we expect to see throughout the rest of the autumn and certainly through winter. I've been quite curious to see how the panels will be performing in foggy misty weather. It is quite misty today and it has surprised me because we're producing between 700 and 800 watts of electricity which has been higher than on certain days when it's just been really really overcast. We've woken up to this weather and it is now nine o'clock in the morning and for the first time since we've had these panels we have virtually produced no electricity at all. So you can see there's very little light around, there's a lot of rain, there must be a lot of cloud cover and it's super misty so it's almost the perfect storm of, of poor solar production. So I'm hoping that we're not going to get too many of these days because to this point we have produced 9 watts of electricity in the, the past 2 hours which is incredibly low. So yeah, this is the weather that you really really hope that you don't get a lot of over the winter. It's currently 1 degrees and it's uh, pretty nippy outside but a glorious blue sky, lots of lights around. And as a result, we're producing about 4.2, 4.3 kilowatts, which is so great because we had a, a leak at the house a couple of days ago and our air source heat pump has been off for the last three days. So it's been freezing inside the house, but at least uh, the fact that we've had blue skies has allowed the iBoost to heat the water. And now the heat pump is on in full cry, so it's consuming crazy amounts of electricity to heat the house. But by having uh, a beautiful blue sky, means that all of the heating that is currently being generated now is free, which is just absolutely awesome. It's November 9th and we've received our first snow of the winter season. Needless to say, our solar production is zero. The panels were actually covered a lot thicker up to about 10 minutes ago. The snow has actually subsided. The snow has slid down into the gutter, but there's very little light around. I'll just pan around. We can see just how dark the the sky is. Uh, so we're currently producing zero. It'll be interesting to see if it does clear a little bit. But so far the production over the course of the last couple of weeks has really declined quite drastically. So here we are on the 18th of November. November has been really dark, gloomy and miserable for us. Our solar production has really suffered. Today is the first genuinely really nice uh, day. A lot of uh, blue sky around. The sun is bright. But it's really interesting when you compare solar production during the height of the summer versus the same time in the winter or in the autumn as we are now. Um, during the summer we'd probably be producing around 5 kilowatts of electricity right now and we are presently only doing 3.5 so that's got a lot to do with the positioning of the sun in the sky. But we are relieved to be producing electricity today. Um, our electricity has been absolutely hammered through our air source heat pump that's had very little assistance from solar production during the month of November. It's been cold, so at least we're going to have a good day today to offset the heating. The heating obviously is going to kick in additionally today because we want to heat the house up while we have got the solar being produced. Now that we've seen some of the weather that we've had to deal with, we need to see how that translates into actual numbers. 
Looking at our solar production graph from our Solar Edge app, we can see that there is a gradual decrease in solar production from August to September, and then we see a big drop between September and October. A lot of that can be put down to the fact that despite some of the fog that we had in September, it would burn off during the course of the day, where the fog and a lot of the other atmospheric conditions were far more persistent during the course of October, which meant that very little light was getting through. From October to November, we see another big drop in solar production, and that can largely be put down to the grey, dreary, gloomy weather that we experienced. This is the first time that we've ever had a solar PV system, and as with our air source heat pump, you have to learn as you go along. The most obvious reason as to why we produce a lot less solar during the course of the autumn and winter months in the UK is that the days are obviously a lot shorter. This means that there is generally less light during the course of the day, and in our case, during the summer, we would start producing solar at maybe 7 o'clock in the morning, where during the course of the autumn months, we only start producing at around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. But that doesn't really tell the full story, because there is the whole element of the positioning of the sun during these autumn and winter months. At this point, I would like to thank a couple of users on various forums that I'm on for their patience in explaining this particular point to me. First of all, what we need to understand is that the sun is a lot lower during the course of the autumn and winter months. For home users such as ourselves, this is where things get a little bit tricky. We installed our solar PV array on our studio roof, which has a pitch of 35 degrees. During the course of the summer months, this is quite a favourable angle where we live and as a result we have been able to produce a significant amount of electricity. I was directed to the Photovoltaic Geographical Information System website, which provides quite a lot of interesting information. On this website you can play around with quite a number of things, so we put in our postcode and our existing pitch of 35 degrees. It showed that we were producing a reasonable amount of electricity during the course of the November and December months. The optimal angle, however, for November was at 42 degrees, what this exercise did is it provided me with an answer to a question that I couldn't quite get my head around. During the course of November, we did have a couple of days with bright blue skies. What I couldn't understand is why at about 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we were only producing around 3.5 kilowatt hours worth of electricity, when during the same period of time during the summer, we were hitting 6. The answer was now quite apparent. The sun has dropped in the sky, and our panels aren't upright enough to be able to capture that solar energy. As I continued to play around with the numbers on the PVGIS website, it became apparent that our optimal pitch for our solar panels during the course of the autumn and winter months would have been at around 42 degrees. We're currently at 35 degrees and we're locked into that because of the pitch of our roof. Having said that, a 42 degree pitch adversely affects our panels during the summer months where we would be producing less electricity because they'd be too upright for the position of the sun. So it is a matter of checks and balances and in a home setup such as ours you're not going to put up motorized panels on your roof or try and prop them up at a different angle so you're basically stuck with what the pitch of your roof actually is. To further address that point if you are going to be putting up panels on your roof have a look at the pitch of your roof go onto this uh, PVGIS website, have a look see whether the pitch of your roof is going to be suitable for the location that you're in to be producing decent amounts of electricity at the time that you need it most. Despite not having the best weather conditions during the course of the autumn, we were still able to produce 1.1 megawatt hours worth of electricity. So even though we have been a little bit disappointed with the production of solar that we've generated, it still does equate to around 13 kilowatt hours of electricity on a daily basis, which for us is still a significant contribution towards our air source heat pump. I have been asked a few times whether the solar PV installation has been worth it. During the course of the summer, it's a definite no-brainer. We produce so much power, but then we're not consuming as much power as a household. We really require that solar production to kick in during the course of the cooler months. Uh, as I said before, that goes towards driving our air source heat pump. I think that during the course of the autumn that offset has been quite reasonable. We were able to register our solar PV array before the feed-in tariff deadline. We are receiving payments from that. They're not huge but they are going towards paying for the installation costs. 
for us the big test is going to be the winter we installed our solar pv system to drive and assist our air source heat pump had we stayed on the oil boiler the solar pv system that we have would more than carry our electricity requirements for this house but we did switch to an air source heat pump which does require a lot of electricity so i'm going to be really really interested to see how much electricity we are able to produce over the course of December, January and February. So I hope that this video has given you some insights into solar production during the autumn months when the days shorten and the sun drops. We will continue to monitor the production of our system and we'll be putting together an update video which will be available in March next year. If you would like to receive that video, please hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you then. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Twitter or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.